All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanted to go over how to um, install a half hot plug, um, but in order to do that, first we have to rough it in. So today's video will be how to rough in a half hot receptacle, um, and then the next video will be how to install it. Um, so first of all, we're gonna need an incoming power wire. So I have my, um, 14.2 sitting right here. So I'm going to cut a piece of that off and basically strip it out and just use that for the extension cord plug-in like I have been on the other um, switch box. So I'm gonna have a 14.2 coming in here to power up this switch box and then I'm gonna have a 14.3 running down to this plug box right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little piece of wire. Um, don't need much. Basically just enough to get into the box and enough to get out of the box. Um, and then the other piece of wire is just going to go down there and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so first of all, I'm just gonna strip this out really quickly. Um, actually, pretty much the whole thing needs to be stripped out. So, um, but I need to leave a little bit of this together to stay together in the box. So I'm gonna just go ahead, strip out half of this. So this will go inside the box. And then I'll also need to strip out a little bit on the outside so I can hook it up. So I'm gonna leave a little bit connected so it doesn't completely just fall apart. And yes, I could save some time editing this, um, but I wanna give you guys the whole experience. Sorry if that wastes a little bit of your time. Um, but this is how it's gonna all look and how long it's gonna take, so. Gonna go ahead and put this inside the box right here. So this is gonna be my power wire. So this is gonna go inside the box. This is gonna hook up outside the box for temporary power installation. So first of all, I'm gonna need to break that. I'm using my brand new um, red, white, and blue client screwdriver. So I'm super excited to be breaking these babies in. So pretty much gonna sit like this. I'm gonna probably throw a staple on that here in a second. But next I'm going to take my three wire, 14-3, and basically just going to have this coming in. And then usually just wrap it around the bottom there. We've got six inches, cut it. And then same thing, just gonna strip it, put it in the box. Um, so let me grab the knife again. Um, so I'm just going to stick it in from the top. Um, in most cases you would just go straight from the bottom, but because I don't want to have the wire coming in from two different directions, just for this video, I'm going to bring it in from the top. Not something you would normally do, but that's just for the sake of making this easier for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick it in the same hole right here. Actually, now I'll use a separate hole to make it easier for explanations. I'm going to pop out this other hole. And then I'm just going to stick it in here. This right side right here. And then wrap it around there. And then strip this bottom piece out here real quick right about here. Looks like... A little bit longer than it needs to be, but that's all right. And I need to buy some new staples because these staples that I have are absolute garbage. I just bought some staples from Home Depot and they are not good at all. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Try not to make that look too ugly. Um, but I'll go ahead and grab a staple here real quick. And get the hammer out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a staple here just because. And then basically the only thing I really wanna staple is this power wire so it doesn't get loose. That's pretty solid. 
try not to pinch it. So that's ready to go right there. We're gonna go to plug that in. And that's just gonna temporarily hold that there. I could throw another one there, but I'm not gonna worry about that because this is just temporary. But in a real world situation, I'll throw another staple here, but in the real world situation, I wouldn't be wrapping around from the bottom to the top. Uh, so in some cases you do, but um, usually, you, like I said, you just come up from the bottom. So as far as the half hot goes, um, having the wire in the bottom of the box, that's all you're gonna do. Once you have these four wires here, your ground neutral and your two hots, um, you're just gonna fold that up into the box and call that good. I'm not gonna cut this just for the sake of reusing the wire later. So that one's completely done on the bottom for the half hot. And as far as the switch goes over here, you're gonna need a few pigtails. Um, so grab yourself some pigtails. You're gonna need a ground pigtail, of course. And then you're also gonna need a power pigtail. So a solid, um, solid ground wire or ground wire and then a black wire and then your neutrals are just going to tie together and your red is going to be basically your switch leg. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a wire over here and use that for my pigtail. Can't seem to find the ground wire line on the ground. So there we go. Alright, so once again I have my wires ready to go. I'm going to grab a few wire nuts and then my strippers are ready to go. So. First things first, start out with your grounds. Make sure they're not twisted or anything like that. They're completely at the back of the box, untangled from the rest of the wires. What I like to do is just take the wires, get them out of the way, fold them up, and then push the grounds to the corner, and then wire up my ground. So this is gonna be for your switch. Your switch has, of course, your ground and your two hots or your hot and your switch leg. So two black wires and a ground wire. So I got this one right here. And then next we're gonna take your neutrals and then going to tie these together because you don't use a neutral in this situation. Actually, I need another wire nut. So tie your neutrals together. And then in the next video, I will show you how to hook up the switch, the plug, and then test it as well. So there's that. And then you have your hot right here, your hot right here. So half of this plug is gonna be hot on the bottom. Um, you can't see what I'm pointing to, but the plug down here, half of it is gonna be hot, which is why it's called a half hot. Half of the plug is constant on and half of the plug is switched by this switch right here that we're gonna install in the next video. So. Once again, I'm going to strip out these wires because we're gonna add the pigtail here and I have lost my pigtail. So here is my black pigtail that I need to straighten out. Need one more wire nut. So I'm going to tie these together. So incoming power right here and then that wire is still right here. And then you're gonna be sending the power down to that box for the plug for the bottom half of the plug. Uh, but you can make the constant hot, the top top of the plug or the bottom of the plug, which depends on where you land the black wire. Um, but I've always learned that the switched outlet goes on the top. That's the way that I've always known how to do it, but it's really just whatever the spec calls for. If your boss wants it on the top, do it on the top. If they want it on the bottom, do it on the bottom. So here we go once again. So you got your ground wire, fold that up in there. Fold your neutral, fold your hot and your um, switch leg right here for the red. That's gonna be your half hot wire. And then basically that's it. So pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So temporary power, which is gonna be in the next video. Got that made up and you got that made up just folded in the box. And that's it. So hopefully you guys um, learned how to rough in a half hot from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Next video, like I said, going to hook up the switch, hook up the plug, show you guys how to do the half hot plug, what you have to do to the plug to make that all work. 
and then of course test it out and show you guys that it works anyways guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it as always if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like button and subscribe love to see you guys back in the next video and i would appreciate the support and help the channel grow um, check the description down below for anything else hit that first link in the description to check out um, pretty much everything that you need to know in the link tree link and then hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams thank you guys so much for watching god bless have an awesome rest of your day have an awesome weekend and stay safe out there god bless peace out